AI is moving at unimaginable speed. We have an AI that can literally take over your computer and do tasks for you just by telling it what to do in text. And Unitree Robotics had live-streamed the first ever robot match. And we have an insane AI from Alibaba that can create and edit videos, turn images into videos, and even make audio for them. Phantom Deepfake is now out. And lastly, we have a new open source reasoning model from DeepSeek AI that's beating some of the biggest names in the game. Before we start, I appreciate you if you subscribe to my channel and turn the bell on, because it means a lot. First up, UI TARS is a multimodal agent developed by ByteDance. What it does is you tell your computer, your browser, your desktop apps, or even your mobile phone what you want to do using text, and it just does it by looking at the screen and controlling the mouse and keyboard. Here we have a user prompted, collect the email addresses and put them into the Excel table. And look at that, UITARS is thinking step by step just like a person would. It's trying to find the emails, open in Chrome, searching. This is insane. It's actually figuring out how to navigate the website, find the contact info and copy paste it into the spreadsheet. I mean, with this, you don't even need to manually scrape data or do repetitive tasks anymore. UITARS can just automate it for you. And look at this one. The prompt is, recognize the images of the mountain and rename them accurately. UITARS opens the file manager, looks at each picture one by one, figures out it's Mount Kilimanjaro, then Mount Everest, then Hua Shan, and renames the files. <laughs> wow! It's actually identifying complex visual information and acting on it. With this, organizing huge batches of photos or digital assets becomes a breeze. Then, download the image and compress it to under 600 KB. It opens the browser, downloads the image, opens it in GIMP, adjusts the quality, and exports it, checking the file size. Amazing! This is like having a super efficient assistant. This means you can automate entire digital workflows from fetching files to processing them without lifting a finger. Next, it's playing games. Look at it go in Minecraft, automatically completing tasks like mining, crafting, and even fighting zombies. Wow! It sees the screen, thinks about the game, and takes action. With this, game developers can automate testing or even create AI opponents that learn and adapt in real time. And it's not just fighting, it's strategically moving, crafting, and surviving. It's like it understands the game. This kind of AI can be used to create incredibly immersive and intelligent NPCs in future games. This is just amazing. And it's not just simple games, it's playing complex puzzle games like Untangling Yarn or those circuit connection games, figuring out the logic and making the right moves. This is amazing! With this, you could have AI that helps design or solve complex problems, or even generate new puzzle levels automatically. So, UTARS, especially the newer 1.5 version, is a vision language model. They trained it by showing it tons of screenshots and how people interact with them. It learns to connect your text instructions, like click the red button, to what it sees on the screen and then actually performs those actions. It's got a system where it kind of thinks about the steps before it acts, and it can even learn from what it did before to get better. And here's where it gets really interesting. The benchmarks. They put UTARs up against other agents like OpenAI and Claude. First, look at this online benchmark evaluation table. For computer use on OS World, UTARs gets a score of 42.5, smashing OpenAI's 36.4 and Claude's 28. In Windows Agent Arena, it's at 42.1, leaving the previous best way behind at 29.8. It just dominates on the desktop. Next, for grounding capability, basically how well it understands what it's seeing. On the ScreenSpot Pro benchmark, look at this. UTARS hits a massive 61.6, while OpenAI is at 23.4 and Claude is at 27.7. Wow! It's not even a competition. It understands the screen more than twice as well. And when it comes to games, this is just a blowout. Check out the Pokey Game Table. On games like 2048, Energy, Hex FRV, Snake Solver, and a bunch of others, UI Tars scores a perfect score. Perfect 100. The other AIs? Huh, they can't even come close on most of them. This is insane! It's the same in Minecraft. In this table, for the task of Kill Zombie, the previous best model scored 0.6. UI TARS, with its thought process, hits 0.9. It's just flat out better at playing the game. And here's the craziest part. You'd think a bigger model would be better, right? Wrong! 
This model scale comparison shows that the smaller 1.5B version of UITARS, which scored 42.5, actually beats the bigger 7B and even the massive 72B models on the OS World Benchmark. That is amazing efficiency! It's crazy good! And regarding its availability, the UITARS 1.5B code is already on GitHub and it's fully open source under the Apache 2.0 license. That means you can use it, modify it, and even redistribute it as long as you follow the terms. To run the 1.5B model locally offline, you'll need around 10 gigabytes of VRAM, though with quantization it can run on 6 to 8 gigabytes. For the 7B model, aim for 16 gigabytes, and for 72B, you're looking at 40 gigabytes or more. Next up, Unitree Robotics and their G1 Humanoid Robots. What these guys did is pretty wild. They took part in what's being called the world's first humanoid robot boxing tournament. We're talking robots controlled by human teams actually boxing and kickboxing each other. Look at these robots go! They're throwing punches, kicks, and even getting knocked down and getting back up! Wow! The movements are pretty fluid for robots, and they're actually reacting to each other. It's amazing! Amazing to see this level of control and agility. <laughs> Even if some of the falls are a bit clumsy, they get right back up. With this, you can see the future of entertainment or even how robots could be used in more dynamic physical situations. Imagine Robot Olympics! The Unitree G1 robots are packed with good computers and smooth motion control. For the fighting moves, they actually got combat experts to provide data to teach the robots how to punch and kick properly. They also use sensors to keep their balance and AI reinforcement learning practiced in simulations to stop them from falling over. During the competition, humans used remote controls, but the G1 can also listen to voice commands or be controlled by motion. Moving on, we have 12.1 Vase. This is from Ali Alibaba, specifically their Tongyi Wan team and Alibaba Cloud. And it's an all-in-one AI for creating and editing videos. Think making videos from text, turning images into videos, editing clips, or even changing just parts of a video. Vase does all that, and it can make audio too. Here, they show a kid sitting by a window, and then with a prompt, the AI makes the kid get up and walk the same direction as the reference video at the top left. It's pretty smooth. And here, they take a video of a horse with someone riding it and an anime character, and BAM! The anime character is riding the horse in a video! Wow! This is impressive stuff! You can see it only replaced the shaded part of the input video, and below the waist it is the same in both videos. You can do almost anything you want. For example, if you want to advertise this bag using this character, BOOM! With this, advertising any product got a lot easier. Mona Lisa put on the exact sunglasses in the input picture. I mean, the possibilities for creative video editing are huge. And here's, they replaced the shaded part with this cat, and the output is smooth as you can see. And here, you can see it animated Naruto surfing based on this pose video. Amazing! This is a lifesaver for animators wanting to quickly prototype movements or even generate final animations. And it doesn't stop there. Look at this capability! It can do what they call object transformation or style transfer. Here, we see a video of a panda drinking coffee. And then, Vase transforms that panda into a lion drinking coffee, keeping the action and the setting consistent. This is wild! Here, we have this artist drawing something, but it is shaded. And look at this. It replaced it with a painting of the background, and the artist is still painting. And check out this orchestra scene. Vase can perform video outpainting or content refilling. It takes the original video of the violinist and seamlessly extends the scene outwards. And here, it was able to change this rough animation with prompt in to this. It's crazy good! And regarding its availability, the Vase code is already on GitHub, and it's fully open source under the Apache 2.0 license, which means you can use it, modify it, and even redistribute it as long as you follow the terms. Vase comes in two modules. Vase 1.3b, 1.3 billion parameters. You can run this locally on a single GPU with about 8 gigabytes of VRAM. If you want stable 720p output, aim for 10 gigabytes plus. Vase 14, 14 billion parameters. For this largest model, you'll need either a multi-GPU setup or a single GPU with 40 to 48 gigabytes. Next, remember Phantom? The deepfake AI from ByteDance. What it does is you give it a single photo of someone, add a text prompt, and it creates a super realistic video of that person doing what you described, keeping them looking just like themselves. I won't be explaining it in this video. Just see this video if you want to learn more about Phantom. The big news is, the full version of Phantom is out. 
and for those of you who wants to use it, the Phantom code's already on GitHub, and it's fully open source under the Apache 2.0 license. Phantom comes in two modules. Phantom 1 1.3b, 1.3b parameters, can run on a single GPU with 8 to 10 GB VRAM, around 5 GB bare minimum. Phantom 1 14b, 14b parameters, needs a multi-GPU setup or a single GPU with 40 GB plus VRAM. Comfy UI integration is available via Comfy UI 1 video wrapper for both models. Lastly, let's look at DeepSeek R10528. This comes from High Flyer, the company behind DeepSeek AI. It's a big improvement on their previous R1, better at deep thinking, making smart inferences, and at reduced hallucinations. It's also improved its function calling. Now, how good is it? According to Artificial Analysis, DeepSeek's R1 has leaped over models from XAI, Meta, and Anthropic to be tied as the world's second AI lab and the undisputed open-source leader. That's huge! With this, researchers and developers have access to incredibly powerful reasoning capabilities that rival even the top closed-source models. They say this positions DeepSeek R1 as having higher intelligence than XAI's Grok 3 Mini High, NVIDIA's Llama Nemetron Ultra, Meta's Llama 4 Maverick, Alibaba's Quen 3 253, and even equal to Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro of 506. This is insane! Looking at the benchmarks, DeepSeek R10528 is scoring incredibly high according to artificial analysis. And here's a closer look at the numbers. On AIM 2024, it hits 91.4, which is almost equal to OpenAI's O3's 91.6. On AIM 2025, it's 87.5, again very close to the top. This is seriously impressive performance. And in the LMSS chatbot arena, if we look at the rankings, DeepSeek R10528 is sitting at a very strong position, just slightly behind O4 Mini Medium and O3. This really shows its capabilities in real-world conversations, too. DeepSeek R10528 uses their DeepSeek V3 architecture. They improved it by using more computing power and some smart algorithmic tricks after the main training. And the new DeepSeek is still under MIT license, so you can use it for commercial stuff and modify it. You can find it on Hugging Face or use it via DeepSeek's API and their chat site or application. It's also on a Llama and Open Router. And I think that's it for this video. Which AI news did you find the most impressive? I think all of them are pretty insane, but for me, UI Tar is the most impressive among them. So if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and hitting the bell. Until next time, folks!